So we know that inspiration is a great tool for, for getting all those ideas out of your head and seeing them down on paper in a visual format. We also know that it can be really effective for those of us who prefer to see ideas in a visual format rather than lines and lines of text. It is great for planning a project, constructing your essay plan and gathering together your revision notes. But in this short tutorial I'm going to get back to basics and show you how to begin your inspiration uh, concept map. I'm going to show you how to change the background colour and how to make a topic and then I'll show you how to change the colour of that topic and how to change the text size and the font. Changing the background colour of your inspiration document is really quite easy. Uh, perhaps you might prefer a coloured background to the stark white background that usually appears. So to change the background colour, first move your mouse cursor into an empty area of the background and then using your mouse press your right mouse button that will bring up this little option window, choose background colour and then just pick a colour from the colour palette. I'm going to use this very pastel yellow colour here. OK, so we've chosen the colour for our background. Now let's look at the topics in your map and how to create and how to format them. This cross here acts as a marker and shows you where your next topic will appear on your map. If you can't see this crosshair on your map then just move your cursor to a blank area of your map and click the left mouse button and the crosshair should now appear. You can move this crosshair to any area on your map by moving the mouse cursor and then clicking your left mouse button. Now this crosshair shows you where your next topic will appear. So having chosen where you want that to appear, take your keyboard and type your first topic. I'm just going to type topic 1. Now if I move my cursor away and click it on a blank area of the map, that completes that topic now. So now I have a new crosshair on the map. I can move anywhere I want to, left click, that's where my next topic is going to go and I type topic 2 and as I begin to type it brings up this bubble and the type goes inside. Left click away from that topic and that topic's complete. Let me make one recommendation here very quickly. It's good to get into the habit of saving your document and saving it regularly so that if the computer were to crash or there were a power shortage or the program were to crash at least you haven't lost an awful lot of work. To save your document you can go up to the file menu and then click save or save as and give the file a new name. An alternative to using the menu would be to use the shortcut keys. On the Mac this would be command and S and on the Windows PC this would be control and S. So next I want to show you how to change the colour of your topic. To change the colour of your topic move your cursor so that it hovers over the topic. When your cursor is over the topic click your left mouse button, select the topic and you can tell that the topic is selected because you see these boxes appear around the topic and this fine dotted line around the text. So with that topic selected, I can move down here to the bottom and I can choose to change the fill colour or the line colour. The line colour, by the way, is the colour of the line that appears around the perimeter of the topic. So I want to change the fill colour of this topic. I've got a yellow background and to make this one stand out, I'm going to change it to an orange colour. And I click away from that topic again to deselect it. And you can see now I've got a difference between topic 1 and topic 2. So how about changing the font of my topic? Well, I can do that by first selecting the topic. Remember, left click. All of those boxes appear to show me that selected. Come down to the bottom of the screen and I can see at the moment it's set to Arial. Click on this arrow here and then a list of the 
various fonts I have on my computer are displayed and I can scroll through my fonts until I find the font that I want to. By the way, if I want to jump to a particular font, say a font beginning with T, if I press T on my keyboard, it will jump automatically to all of the fonts beginning in T. I'm going to jump to C because I'm looking for, personally, I quite like chalkboard, so I'm going to choose chalkboard. So that changes that font from Arial, which was the original font, to chalkboard. Now then, what if I decide that I want to have this color and chalkboard font as the default for all of my topics? Well, I can select on this, make sure that topic's selected, it's font selected. What I can do now is go to this button here, the defaults button. Click on that and I can set this as a default. There we are. So now when I add a new topic, click over here, topic 3 by default comes up with chalkboard font and the orange background. So what if I wanted to apply that to another topic? Well, that's easy. I can select this topic here, come back down to the default button, and this time I'm clicking apply default. You can see the colors change in the preview window. Apply the default, and that changes that from Arial to chalkboard, and the background color from blue to this orange color. And I'll show you one last thing before we finish. What about changing the shape of an object? Well, that's fairly straightforward too. I can click on an object like this central topic here. And if I bring in my symbols palette, which is this palette here, there are various shapes at the top of the symbols palette. And whilst this is selected, I click on any of these shapes up here. So if I click on this cloud, will automatically change that main idea to a cloud. I might like the main idea to stand out from all of the rest of the subtopics. Perhaps I'd like the main idea to be larger. To make anything larger, I just click and select it. And then you remember these boxes around the corner. If I grab one of these corner grab handles here, left click and then hold the left mouse button down and you see this box begins to expand and contract as I move my mouse. So I can decide how large I'd like it. If I leave go of my left mouse button here, it increases the size of that picture. So now it's quite clear at a glance that this is my main idea because it's much larger than the rest. And these are all subtopics. I could improve this further by selecting this topic and then changing the font. If I press I, jump straight to the eyes, I could choose impact, change the font size, and then perhaps change the color as well. And then click away. And you can see then that this main idea stands out from the rest. So you can see now we're beginning to build our map, but we're giving it some format as well. In my next tutorial, I'll come back to this map and I'll show you how to link the main idea to the subtopics and create further sub subtopics. If you like this tutorial, then why not let us know? Either by clicking the like button, that's the thumb down here, or by dropping us an email. And if you're feeling stuck with another topic, maybe we could help with a similar video tutorial. Send your email to admin at diverse-learners.co.uk Thank you for watching.